गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक स्टार्ट करते हैं भाई आई नो यू गाइस आर टायर्ड दो बट डोंट वरी एक्चुअली द थिंग इज दैट आई हैव मेड द शेड्यूल ना सो आई जस्ट वांट टू वर्क ऑन दैट सो इन दैट केस वी विल हैव अ गुड प्रिपरेशन आई डोंट वांट टू टेक एनी डे ऑफ नाउ टिल 31st हां डेफिनेटली विशाल बट द थिंग इज दैट वी विल मूव इन सर्टेनली डिफरेंट वे but however i will give you a brief idea that in next class what you have to study by yourself so uh, let's start this era of organic chemistry upar to maine question rakhe hue aaj ke topic se related ye hatao yahan se answers to hum aaj padhne wale hain usse related kuch ye questions aur main bahut sare questions karaunga tumhare questions usi mein se phas jayenge but the thing is that since we are having a limited time i would i would try my best to have a combination of both theory and uh um itself the question so let's start okay somya organic hi chal rahi hai bhaiya chronology kya rahegi sab discuss ho jayega prachuya don't worry filhal main aaj ka topic tumhe bata deta hu dekho main tumhe ek brief idea de deta hu aaj ki class waise rakhna isliye zaruri tha kyunki thoda introduction bhi rakhna tha mujhe तो मैं तुम्हें एक फोटो देता हूँ हमारा कुछ इस तरह से सेटअप रहेगा थोड़ा बहुत हम चेंज कर लेंगे अगर कोई टॉपिक ऐसा होगा कि इधर उधर है तो मैं दिखा देता हूँ तुम्हें तो तुम्हारा कुछ इस तरह का सेटअप रहेगा आई होप ये दिख रहा होगा तुम्हें तो इसमें देखो हमने ऐसे रखा है कुछ कि पहले तुम्हारा आज जो है हम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इफेक्ट का बेसिक कवर करेंगे जितनी थ्योरी जरूरी है क्योंकि आधी तुम पढ़ के आए हुए तो सब कुछ तुम्हें आइडिया है बेसिक चीजों का ठीक है एसिडिटी और आज हम एसिडिटी के सारे केसेस पढ़ लेंगे रिएक्शन पार्ट जिन डोंट वरी वी विल हैव द बेस्ट पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ थ्योरी एंड क्वेश्चन बट डोंट वरी आर यू वॉन्ट रिग्रेट इट है Are you definitely are. This is your entire pattern. You can have a screenshot, or I'll be anyway forwarding this PDF to you. You can look, uh, take a look. So now, देखो भाई हम start करने वाले हैं पहले आज बहुत ही मैं slow चलूँगा और तुम्हें पता है पहली class मेरी slow ही रहती है, but फिर भी fast होगी. नहीं, मैंने पहले ही कहा था इसमें हम classical तरीके से नहीं चलेंगे. So what we are going to start now is basically brief about. स्टेबिलिटी और यू कैन से स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट्स एर इन दैट हम बेसिकली जो कवर करने वाले हैं बेसिकली हम कवर करेंगे कार्बोकेटाइन और कार्बनाइन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कार्बोकेटाइन एंड कार्बनाइन why not uh, free radical uh, because see uh, the stability pattern of free radical is almost similar to that of carbocation so once you are clear with this carbocation you can have a clear look on that prachuria i don't think so you need notes just try to understand it notes i will prefer for only those who students who have not at, at all studied anything in organic chemistry but since you guys have a fair idea about all the things priorly brief about stability of intermediates we are going to study and the acidity, acidity. so yeah first we have to study that how to determine the stability of cation and carbonyl any cation or any anion given how we are uh, going to determine the stability right so stability for in order to look for the stability of any of the carbocation carbonyl you have to look first for the primary factor this is the first preference then after the primary factors are equal you will go for secondary factor this is secondary okay now what are the primary factors primary factors says first one is electronegativity now let me make you very clear that electronegativity is directly proportional to and ionic stability and inversely proportional to cationic stability means suppose there are two anions the one with the higher electronegativity will be more stable 
and if there are two cations the one with the higher stability uh, higher electronegativity will be less stable but how to determine which of these two are having higher electronegativity there are three ways ways to determine electro uh, electronegativity are three the first one is pauling scale right and you know high pauling scale means high electronegativity is it clear the second one is your percentage as character if percentage as character is high you know this also that percentage as character directly proportional to electronegativity clear see the last one total positive charge so if your atom given is having high positive charge electronegativity is more why i suppose your carbon is having plus 2 here carbon is having plus 3 so which one is more electronegative the one which is more electron deficient one electron that much badly na so electronegativity will be higher for the one which is having higher electron deficiency means high positive charge so remember that and for see now what i told you that electronegativity is directly proportional to the stability of anion and inversely proportional to the stability of cation now if there are two atoms which are given and you want to see that which cation which carbocation or which respective carbon ion is more stable then you know that the anion with the higher electronegativity will be more stable and the cation with the least electronegativity will be more stable now how to determine electronegativity there are three factors pauling scale directly gives you the value of electronegativity if pauling scale is same means all are suppose carbon all are suppose nitrogen means the charge bearing element is carbon or nitrogen same same element is bearing the charge positive or negative then you will look for percentage as character means you have to look for hybridization means sp hybridization most electronegative sp2 then the second number electronegative and sp3 is the least electronegative after that if the hybridization is also same suppose there are two carbon atoms element is same pauling scale is okay same now hybridization is also same suppose both are methyl kind of a tri substituted group so both are suppose sp3 carbons and both are anion suppose now you will look for if there is any positive charge now if there if there is not a positive charge also now if there is a positive charge you will say that high positive charge means high electronegative means the cation if there is a cation will be less stable if there is an anion will be more stable now the thing is question suppose i ask you compare stability i say ch3 minus oh minus not oh minus yeah you can say uh, since i am just explaining it so i can write in a chronological order oh minus f minus i am saying that which one is most stable just arrange it a b c d can you arrange the following in the uh, decreasing order of stability i am asking decreasing order of stability on the basis of whatever i have told can you please arrange this following four anions in the decreasing order of stability some pre uh, coordination isomerism mein yaar question zyada tar wohi aate hain isme se kon optically active banayega kon nahi banayega kitne isomers possible hain so you know that how we are going to compare the stability we have to check the electronegativity you know that electronegativity is directly proportional to the stability of an ion highly electronegative means pauling scale is different na so we can compare <coughs> on the basis of pauling scale so highest pauling scale is with fluorine means f minus is more stable so order order of stability will be d c p and a cool now see if i ask you the same question compare the stability ch3 plus nh2 my nh2 plus oh plus f plus when was the class started i just in 15 now can you just compare a b c d now it is cation i told you that for the stability of cation and, and uh, relax just keep in mind that right now we are looking primary factor because we always have to look for the primary factor first right now primary factor says that if electronegativity is high 
cationic stability is less so you know that it is having highest electronegativity means the corresponding cation will be least stable so here the order will be a b c and d clear right now the thing is that this is the first factor electronegativity the second factor that is under the primary factor is size factor and one thing you need to remember let me write it with a different color yeah okay i'll uh, i'll i'll write it later on when i will discuss both the factors size factor size factor says larger larger size directly proportional to electronegativity uh, no, no, no no not electronegativity and ionic stability larger size of the atom or ion is directly proportional to the anionic stability it means that larger size is inversely proportional to cationic stability and this you can uh, have other two ways also that uh, smaller size will have inversely proportional to uh, the anionic stability and directly proportional to the uh, cationic stability right so that you can do so this is the second factor now the thing is for example if i ask you that which one is more stable more stable options are f minus cl minus pr minus i minus this is a b c d so i told you that larger size of anion or uh, the entity the ion is uh, directly proportional to the anionic stability so since iodine minus is the highest uh, largest in size so you will say that i minus is most stable followed by br minus then followed by cl minus then followed by f minus right definitely it will be iodine because it is uh, highest in the largest in the size okay so this is how you are going to compare the size factor now the thing is that when when we are going to compare the size factor when we are going to compare the electronegative factor so you need to understand this let me mark this with a different pen electronegativity factor electronegativity factor is always applied for ions of elements of same period always remember that electronegativity factor is always applied for the comparison of ions stability when all the ions are from the same period for example if you might have noticed here all these ions are from the second period right so always remember that electronegativity factor here now here in this part we didn't apply the electronegativity factor why because these are not the atoms which belong to the same period these are the atoms which belong from the same group so size factor is always applied for ions of elements that is what subhashish i am telling na that down the group we doesn't consider electronegativity because decrease in electronegativity is relatively less as compared to the increase in the size so size factor is more dominant when we go down the group and electronegativity uh, factor is more drastic uh, when we go from uh, when we go from left to right so that is the factor right that is the thing need to remember that is what i am writing size factor is always applied for the ions of elements of same group clear no babia in organic chemistry or not going to do anything with the lanthanide chemistry don't worry relax especially in organic chemistry you are done with done up to max third third period you need not to go to the fourth and the fifth it is not used that uh, that much in your primary organic chemistry now see now the thing is this is all about primary factor so in primary factor what you studied two main factor electronegativity and size bhai yahan tak kisi ko doubt hai to batao is it clear up to here or any doubt now can you answer me a very typical question which seems to be typ typical but it is not actually typical if i ask you something like this let me just uh, have a good question uh, Okay, I can generate that. Now, we have total positive charge. Well, a point again. See, 
if i say that ch3 plus and ch22 plus which one is more electronegative then you will say ch22 plus because it is having more craving for electron due to the high electron deficiency clear nigam nigam is it clear and the one which is having higher electronegativity if it is cation it will be least stable right okay now see if i ask you a simple question co oh yeah co o minus there there is some group and r co n h minus can you tell me which anion is more stable which anion is more stable tell me bhavya y b those who are answering b i want you to answer this in a detailed way why b why do you think so that this b and ion is uh, more stable and most of the student thinks b why 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 those who are answering b please answer me with the reason anyone not just anyone any any volunteer who wants to answer पता था मुझे सी वॉट आई टोल्ड यू हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन ओके 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 लेट मी गिव यू अंट वॉट आई टोल्ड यू हियर दैट फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस इज गिवेन टू प्राइमरी फैक्टर इन गवर्निंग द स्टेबिलिटी दो फैक्टर्स दैट यू हैव स्टडी ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इफेक्ट लिसन क्लोजली ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इफेक्ट रेजोनेस हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन मेजोमेरिक एरोमेटिसिटी फलाना ढेमकाना ये सारे के सारे कम्स इन द सेकेंडरी फैक्टर इफ द प्राइमरी फैक्टर इज नॉट इक्वल यू कैन नॉट गिव द आंसर ऑफ द स्टेबिलिटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सेकेंडरी फैक्टर्स राइट हेयर एंड फॉर वॉट इज द कंडीशन टू हैव द सेम प्राइमरी फैक्टर यू शुड हैव द सेम एलिमेंट सो दैट द पॉलिंग स्केल इज सेम यू शुड हैव द सेम हाइब्रोडाइजेशन एंड देन यू शुड हैव द सेम पॉजिटिव चार्ज देन हेयर दिस इज ऑक्सीजन दिस इज नाइट्रोजन Polling scale is different. So you need not to answer on the basis of resonance. Na, nothing to do with inductive. Nothing to do with hyper conjugation. Just simple. It is just like I ask you, na this O H minus and N H two minus. I have just replaced this H with this unit. No difference. Answer will be the same. That O minus will be more stable because it is highly electronegative and negative charge prefers higher, uh, more stability on more electronegative atom. so a is more stable than b clear not on the basis of size bachche bhavya size factor is applied on the group elements these are below, these belongs to the same period right clear ho gaya so now clear this this is clear now good very good let's move ahead so now the primary factors is done means whenever there is a primary difference you have to look for that now we will go for the secondary factor now for secondary factor i'll move quite fast because this is all you have studied this uh, in your uh, entire year first factor is c i am writing a order from the most powerful effect to the least powerful effect however there is some sometimes it happens that one effects beats the other however still it is in the least chronology or the uh, or at the bottom of the chronology but it doesn't matter mostly you will follow the order order of priority or your yeah, order of power yes yes somya priya now order of power of secondary effects these are known as electronic effects right electronic effects the first one that comes is mesomeric the second one that comes is something called as dancing resonance that i will discuss later on it is something no questions on this i'll i'll explain what is this it is something third one is aromaticity third one is 
रेजोनेंस फोर्थ वन इज नो निगम नो मिजोमेरिक इज यू यू ऑल शर्मा जी का लड़का बाद में आएगा तो फर्स्ट वन इज अस नो बडी एल्स सो मेजोमेरिक इज यू नाउ रेजोनेंस आफ्टर दैट हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन आफ्टर दैट इंडक्टिव नाउ देर आर सम अदर फैक्टर्स हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग and other factors so and so on there are few many factors but you have to keep in mind the factors in the order up to this so inductive you have to look at the last most of the students do one uh, mistake that in every question they try to apply inductive first and they just give the answer on the basis of inductive however you have to do in the opposite way you have to first check from the top to the bottom right back bonding is a see in inorganic it is known as back bonding in organic it is known as mesomeric understood akshat there is a day see there is no peculiar difference i will say that whenever there is a species na when there is a lone pair and opposite to that you have a empty orbital or you have a positive charge you will call it as a mesomeric effect but if you have a extended conjugation of pi system only then we will call it as a resonance right nothing else now see now one by one now let me see now let me give you a brief about something itna clear hua na is this order is clear is this clear up to now any doubt see now very important thing ha huh? this is the order of power what does it means listen close high power means that its effect is very high but however it can be stabilizing or destabilizing always remember this thing that these order of power means that whatever effect they are going to apply is high in the intensity but this effect can stabilize a particular system or can destabilize a particular system also it doesn't means that mesomeric will always stabilize a thing right it can destabilize something in some situation also but the effect of stabilization or destabilization relatively will be very high as compared to the other for example let me give you example see example if i say very basic example you all know the brief about inductive resonance everything right suppose if i say this is a carbon which is attached to a negative charge there are some two groups doesn't matter what are these or three groups right or it is also already attached with this suppose this is a carbon ion now once it is attached with nitro group and in a other it is attached with something like this or not like this you can call it as uh, uh, let me do uh, one thing uh, let's do it positive here the same system but a positive charge here now first of all tell me that this is resonance right this is resonance right so this no2 group is you know that this no2 group applies minus m but this minus m is stabilizing here the negative charge but this minus i this, uh, sorry this minus m if happens it is going to destabilize this positive charge because it is going to extract extra electrons because it is already positive it will be you know drained away if nitro does it minus m on this 
So you can see the same effect, the same group, but different consequences. In one, it is acting as a stabilizing group, or in the other, it is acting as a destabilizing group. However, in both of them, minus m can be considered, but in here minus m is stabilizing, here minus m is destabilizing. So now you got it. Now let us understand with some other example. Suppose, suppose, wait, 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 wait. Suppose you have this. Or not this. Let me have you. Uh, let me have a more proper example. Uh, what I want to explain you that higher power means that is the effect is very high. Yeah. Now see, if I say, ah, very very nice example. For example, if I say CH three, CD three, CT three. Positive, positive, positive. Which one is more stable? Right? Now, you know one thing. These are the nothing but the uh, hydrogen is replaced in the other two cases. Hydrogen is replaced with its isotopes. This is CH3. This is CD3. This is CT3. Now, for our, from our previous, previous knowledge, we know that order of plus I. in hydrogen isotopes is t highest than d than h so on the basis of plus i which one is having the highest plus i effect ct3 ct3 is having highest plus i effect right and order of hyperconjugation is the reverse hydrogen is having the highest hyperconjugation because of the weakest bond t then t so hyperconjugation ka order kya rahega Order of hyperconjugation will be CH three will be having the highest hyperconjugation than CD three than CT three. Now, if I ask you that which is more stable, then first of all you will say that yeah, on the basis of inductive, it is the order of stability. On the basis of uh, hyperconjugation, it is the order of stability. Now, which one to prefer? For that, I have given you this order of power. You know that hyperconjugation has a higher effect on as compared to inductive, but it is stabilizing here right it is stabilizing here in both of the cases so you will say that yeah this one is the correct order of stability because hyperconjugations order is preferred because of its higher power is this clear stringent we need not to fall into that uh, uh, you know practical category that whether it exists or not that is not our uh, main concern here so if it is not there doesn't matter however it is now see see in first example what was the first example i actually see first example was i actually i guess erased it now understand one more example then we will move suppose you have now ch3 minus right ch3 plus you have cd3 minus you have cd3 plus now you know that out of inductive and hyperconjugation which one to choose hyperconjugation means in both of the cases the effect of hyperconjugation will be high but in this case hyperconjugation is stabilizing oh sorry uh, in this case hyperconjugation is destabilizing but in this case hyperconjugation is stabilizing so now you can see that same thing same effect same electronic effect but different way of affecting but however what we said that no matter how how much uh, how no matter if it is destabilizing or stabilizing it will be more destabilizing or stabilizing as compared to the respective minus i or plus i you know na minus i is also destabilizing and plus i is also stabilizing but we what we are saying that this hyperconjugation here is stabilizing more as compared to the plus i effect and here this hyperconjugation is destabilizing more as compared to the minus i effect now clear hua na kya bolna cha raha hu by this line that high power means that the effect is very high but however it can be stabilizing or destabilizing that you have to see that on what charge this effect is applied 
is it clear yeah we will cover that in short don't worry is this clear now tell me yahan tak clear hua baba everything now see now okay we will move okay now see let me write few things if any effect donates electron for example plus i plus r plus m hyperconjugation right all these effects these donates electron right suppose there is a group x and there is a c then you know that if i say that if this x group is plus i donor then you should know that it, it it donates electron density and that's how it get del positive and that is why it is known as a plus effect right this is a simple way suppose for example if i ask you that tell me whether this oh group is oh group not benzene oh with respect to benzene is acting as a plus group or a minus group now plus uh, m maybe right plus m or minus m now then what you will say that since it is donating electron density to benzene it is considered to be a plus m because it is ultimately getting a del positive charge after the donation so it is a plus m right but if you consider it minus i if i ask you that oh on benzene ring which it is which i effect minus or plus then you know that on the basis of inductive it will attract electron so then it will get a del negative charge so you will get you will say that it is a minus i effect group so now you are uh, getting the difference right that whenever your group is having del positive charge after the electron effect it is known as the plus effect now if it is uh, through the resonance mode it will be called uh, it will be called as plus r if it is through the mesomeric mode it will be called plus m or if it is through the simple inductive mode then it will be called plus i now if any group is there just like no2 it go it uh, gets a del positive charge right after some effect then that effect will be known as a plus effect now if it is through the inductive mode it is it is known as plus i and now if it is through some other mode it will be called as that plus effect right clear yeah power to obviously difference now i told you now is this clear so what i want to say that if any effect donates electron oh has lone pair for which uh, it is plus and but uh, yeah yeah subhashish that is your general knowledge i know that this this is this is something that you guys are aware of i think so subhashini what what uh, uh, what you didn't understood tell me so that i could repeat it <coughs> tell me so what i am saying that if any effect donates electrons for example plus i plus r plus m h3 hyperconjugation then it will have two two effects it can act as a stabilizing it can act as a destabilizing right stabilizing when there is a negative uh, there is a positive charge abhi batata hu bachche subhashri just just wait a minute please understand this slide then i'll explain you the previous example okay c c c suppose there is a group x which is attached to some carbon chain and i am saying that through some effect some electronic effect whether it is a displacement effect or transfer effect any effect ultimately after the effect this x group is having del positive means ultimately it has donated the electron which way it had donated we don't know so if it has ultimately donated the electron it will get a del positive charge or a complete positive charge but a positive charge right so the effect through which it has donated will be a plus effect right now suppose if i am saying that this x group has donated electron density via mesomeric then this x will be known as plus m donate plus m doing group now what uh, now understood shrabani ha ha prachurya exactly the one who is donating will get a positive uh, charge and thus called to have a positive effect now it uh, it could be positive mesomeric it could be positive resonant it could be positive hyperconjugation it could be positive inductive depends on how it has transferred the electron 
sir how can you uh, can you repeat the difference between mesomeric and see don't fall into the difference much if you are having something like this it is resonance but if you are having something like this it is mesomeric because the involvement of lone pair to pi is there pi to pi conjugation can be considered as resonance pi to positive can be considered as resonance pi to empty p orbital can be considered as resonance but lone pair to pi lone pair to positive lone pair to empty p orbital can be considered as a mesomeric clear clear or not tell me clear ho gaya so now what i am writing that if any effect donates electron for example plus i plus r plus m hyper conjugation it can have a stabilizing effect if it is doing that effect on a positive charge if there is a positive charge and it will be destabilizing if there is a negative charge this slide is clear if this slide is clear then all of you please comment yes sir if this slide is clear whatever i have written once again i am repeating if there is any effect ha 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 you can consider it resonance however in most of the books you will find it equivalent but it is not there are few differences that one i told you okay so now now let's uh, do a question if i ask you and now get familiar to this bond line formulas i'm not going to draw the entire structure because you are now revising and it is your responsibility to have a fair understanding of this okay just uh, okay you can consider it as a uh, pr you can consider it as a cl now now lee c c c what i am saying i am saying that this plus charge is there and you are going to govern the stability of positive charge what i told you that if there is any effect that is plus r plus m plus uh, plus i plus r plus m or hyper conjugation it is going to be stabilizing for positive charge destabilizing for negative charge is there any plus effect no because you know there is no resonance there is no hyper conjugation there is a hyper conjugation is there but that is common for now just remember now that you know hyper conjugation it takes place by the alpha hydrogen i will teach you it in detail but for now i want to tell you something else right that there is no positive effect at all because here you will get this hyper conjugation that is common in everyone so this cannot be the factor which differentiate the stability of positive charge what else is there that is uncommon is this group and you know that chlorine bromine and chlorine bromine and this iodine or you can mark it as a fluorine or let's say it is iodine you know that this apply a minus effect why because relative to carbon it is negatively charged means more electronegative so it will get a del negative by attracting the electronegative via inductive so it will called as a minus i group minus i group minus i group what i told you that if there is a plus group then it stabilizes the positive charge but if there is a minus group then there will be the reversibility so there is a minus group so it will decrease the it will decrease the stability of positive charge and i told you now the second thing higher effect means now uh, okay uh, so you know that there if we have the stability of positive charge then you know that the one having i minus i will cause the least destabilization of the uh, most destabilization of the positive charge so this chlorine wala part is least stable this we know now what i want to conclude is let me write that it will be better if i write that why a both inductive effect uh, inductive and vanishing is small are akshat you are right but at least there will be some difference na it is common na try to understand i have drawn this kind of a species you are saying that it, okay inductive effect vanishes but there is some at least some minute difference on the basis of inductive effect because everyone is having at the same position na so that is what i am saying that look relatively but there is a difference na so that is what i am saying okay so what i am saying that if there is any group that donates 
or you can say just rewrite this if any electron donating effect now you will understand more that if there is an electro uh, there is any electron donating effect it stabilizes positive charge it destabilizes negative charge now what i am saying that if power yeah you can say high power effect power order i discussed so high power effect more stabilization more stabilization of positive charge if a donating effect and similarly high power effect less stability of positive charge if it is a negative charge if there is a negative charge that you are going to uh, sorry sorry uh, negative charge nahi uh, electron uh, releasing uh, withdrawing effect understood what i have written tell me i have told you that if there is any electron donating group uh, in a electron donating effect whether it is i r m hc it will stabilize the positive charge it will destabilize the negative charge now suppose if there is one positive charge and on one positive charge there is plus i and on the other there is plus r then on the basis of power higher power effect will have a higher impact now that impact will be stabilizing if it is placed now you have got it now what i want to say that higher power effect means more stabilization of positive charge if electron donating group is present and power kiski baat ho rahi hai electron donating group ki baat ho rahi hai matlab ya jo group hai aapka donate ya withdraw karne wala and if uh, higher power will have the less less stability of positive charge electron withdrawing effect right least kar do ise least kar do isko less nahi karo least kar do then you will understand this least means among all clear ho gaya bhai now let's understand what i Uh, have concluded up to so far. Suppose I am writing a bunch of question now, right? Or before that, let's have a brief discussion about all the effects. Now, first consider this mesomeric effect. See, I am not going to spend much time because you know all the things about it. Mesomeric lone pair under conjugation with positive charge. empty orbital pi bond or it may be alkene or alkyne doesn't matter or o double bond c double bond o uh, any pi bond right or free radical right now this is suppose a this is suppose b this is c this is d let us consider example of a for a you can say suppose there is a x group which is having a lone pair and next to it there is a positive charge then there will be a direct mesomeric effect and since now you will tell me that this is donating the electron so what effect is x actually applying on this positive charge now tell me which effect is actually x is uh, applying on that positive charge since it is donating the electron ultimately it will get a del positive since it is having a del positive so the effect is which is it uh, which it is applying is a plus effect now through which mode it is transferring the electron through mesomerism so it will be called as a plus m donating group that is how you are going to identify which effect is going to take place yeah which uh, uh, what is uh, the nature of this group right and you always look for the major effect right the highest power effect for example here it could have also been doing minus i but minus i since it is less powerful than plus m so we haven't considered that now for example b empty orbital suppose you are having a lone pair and next to it you are having a boron atom this is quite common suppose you are having a bh something like this bh2 then there this lone pair you know that boron has a empty p orbital you know na that boron has a empty p orbital so this lone pair can Participate in the conjugation with this 
MTP orbital. This is also known as plus M effect. Now, it can also be, uh, there is a, or uh, other examples also that you can see that suppose there is a sulfur, any element which is having MTT, MT or vacant 3D orbital or 4D orbital or vacant D orbital, na, that can act as a potential electron acceptor. So if lone pair ke against me kahi pe bhi sulfur dik jaye, lone pair ke against me kahi bhi arsenic dik jaye, lone pair ke against me kahi pe bhi aapko tin dik jaye, aapko silicon dik jaye, so all of these will do this plus M. Remember this, okay? Because all of them has a certain empty orbital, which is empty P orbital. Clear? Now see. Suppose you have a lone pair and then you have a pi, then you also have a pi. So this will have a conjugation like this. Clear? So this is the case. Here also it is plus M. And now D. Beta class to be late chalega. At least till till 11.45, till minimum, right? Now, free radical. Suppose there is a lone pair and there is a, suppose a free radical. So how it can actually uh, do the journey? It can do it like, uh, suppose, uh, uh, for that you need to understand, uh, suppose this half electron goes here, half electron goes here, something like that. Okay, so you will get a, uh, not like that actually uh, you have to have it uh, here suppose it is here uh, or let's not consider it here because for that I need to redraw and tell you something else so just eliminate it actually free radical hybridizes uh, goes under resonance also but it is not like that suppose there is a pi and there is a this lone pair so it goes like this so free radical to generate free radical so it can be like this in mesomeric also, but need not to consider. Only these three major modes of mesomeric are there. So I pray, okay, I will try. But at least 11.30, please, at least 11.30. Other, otherwise, I won't be able to complete it. Is it okay, Somya? Till 11.30, cool. Shall we move now? So yeah, remember, and uh, similarly this thing for the negative charge also that uh, suppose uh, this same charge I can uh, draw for this if any electron withdrawing effect, withdrawing, spelling galat hai, like minus i. Now, if any uh, group gets a overall del negative charge or negative charge after the effect it will be known to have a minus effect. Now it could be inductive. If it is linearly displacing the electron along the bond, it could be minus M. If it is under conjugation with the lone pair or something like that or pi bond, right? Now it will be minus R also. It can be minus hyperconjugation also, which is known as negative hyperconjugation, but you need not to study this. You can skip this. And uh, uh, what else could be there? Uh, I guess this much is efficient, so, uh, sufficient. So these could be the effects. Now the same thing applies here also. That negative effect can stabilize also, destabilize also. But negative effect always stabilizes negative charge. And positive uh, and uh, destabilizes positive charge. That you need to remember. That is the main thing. That any positive effect stabilizes positive charge. Any negative effect stabilizes the negative charge. Now if I ask you same question that CH3 plus is stabilized by plus will be stabilized by plus I or minus I of hydrogen. Tell me, suppose if hydrogen does both the effect plus I and minus I, then which effect will uh, stabilize this carbocation plus I or minus I? I told you that positive charge is stabilized by plus effects. So plus I will stabilize inductive uh, this carbocation. Okay. Okay, so now let's move fast. I guess uh, this mesomeric is clear. Is it clear? Mesomeric clear? The brief about mesomeric is clear now. Now, secondly, we, we can move on. Aromaticity. For aromaticity, see, I don't want to spend much time on this. I just want to tell you 
few things you need to keep in mind. First, four n plus two pi systems. Not and pi not only involves pi bond. Remember this: all conjugated form of electron, conjugated electrons are pi. For example, here pi bonds, lone pairs. Empty p orbitals, all are considered to be conjugated here and considered as a part, but not. Uh, see, uh, uh, now you need to understand that uh, uh, here you uh, have to remove this positive charge because it can participate in the conjugation, but it is not counted as an electron. So at least you need to remember these two things, okay, which are under conjugation. These four n plus two pi electrons are those which are under conjugation, which are under conjugation for example tell me how many if i if i am asking you that whether this ring is aromatic or not then you have to calculate 4n plus 2 pi must be in ring only bahar ke electron count nahi karne 4n2 plus pi mein kabhi tum kaho that this is also participating in the resonance so we can count this lone pair also in 4n plus 2 na if the see aromaticity is a property of the ring so 4n plus 2 pi electrons and 4n electrons are also from the ring only right and that too which are participating in the cyclization okay so how many electrons are there which are participating in the pi bond uh, sorry cyclization this this and this ah there are six pi electron this is a six pi electron system why seven only six pi electrons are moving inside the ring na there is no else electron which is moving inside is it clear or doubt tell me See if it is not clear, then I'll dive a, a bit into the de uh, detail, na? Please tell me. Ah, this is a good question, Akshat. One, remember this thing: lone pair attached to a sp two hybrid atom are not going to. participate in conjugation for example if i am saying double bond and lone pair this lone pair is not local it, not delocalized it is de, it is localized lone pair it is localized lone pair right not delocalized so here in this case pi will move either towards nitrogen or away from nitrogen that depends क्लियर हो गया ये क्लियर हुआ भाई इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू एवरीबडी दैट द लोन पेयर विच इज अटैच टू एस पी टू एविड कार्बन विल बी फिक्सड विल नॉट मूव अंडर साइकिलाइजेशन इज इट क्लियर द सेकेंड पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज एटम हुज लोन पेयर इज अंडर conjugation is considered as sp2 beta localized it hua na localized matlab jo ek jagah tika hua hai akshat delocalized wo hota hai jo ghumta rehta hai localized ka matlab jo ek jagah tik gaya what is your local address me local address means jahan par tum filhal tike hue ho wahan se tum move nahi kar rahe samjhe हाँ ठीक है तो ये भी याद रखना सेकंड पॉइंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है द एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिड आइटम लोन पेयर इज अंडर द कंजुगेशन इज कंसिडर्ड एज एस पी टू फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई आस्क यू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ एटम वन टू एंड थ्री एंड द क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रक्चर इज समथिंग लाइक दिस
this is one this is two this is three tell me what is the hybrid what are the hybridization of the structure one two and three this is kya kar sakte hai yaar see you guys are understanding this now but that is that is good now i told you another time i'm going not going to teach you in that normal classical way this is how you can develop your understanding fast deepa are you sure about the second one are it's nothing nothing i am just asking for the hybridization and i told you the basics the lone pair which is in sp2 hybridized atom is localized the lone pair which participates in the conjugation and the atom is sp3 is considered as a sp2 hybridized carbon or atom the normal is normal it's simple see this one is clearly sp2 because it is trigonal planar right now this one even though it has a lone pair but its lone pair is not under conjugation so it is sp3 and this one even though it is sp3 since lone pair is in conjugation with pi yeah with uh, with ring it will be sp2 is it clear now is it clear now tell me what i am saying is it clear have anybody told you this before <clears throat> yeah but please keep it that keep that in mind they can ask you this okay yes 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 so me and the reason before this uh, is that that whenever your lone pair needs to delocalize na what is the thing na now let me tell you something suppose this is a nitrogen which is a sp3 hybridized nitrogen right it is philal sp3 tetrahedral suppose it it is attached with a carbon which is actually a pi bond formation now what happens na that if this lone pair wants to participate in the conjugation na this lone pair is right now it is in sp3 hybrid orbital but if it want to participate it has to get from the this hybrid sp3 orbital to pure p orbital to participate in the resonance because yeah one more important thing that you need to write conclusion is only pure p orbitals participate in conjugation that is why whenever there is a lone pair containing nitrogen which is under conjugation if it if it wants to go into the conjugation then it has to shift that lone pair from sp3 hybrid orbital to a pure p orbital so what happens sp3 was there one lone pair moved to the pure p orbital hybridization what was left is sp2 clear that is what actually happens right so remember that is it clear one ka sp2 to beta normally hai na yahan to lone pair localized hai koi resonance ka chakkar nahi and normally you know that there is one pi bond acha mujhe ye bhi batana padega koi ye bhi sun lo सेकेंड वाला रिप्ले सेकेंड वाला बेटा सी नाइट्रोजन पे जब लोन पेयर होता है एंड दैट लोन पेयर इफ इट इज इन कॉन्जुगेशन देन द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ दैट नाइट्रोजन एंड इवन इट इज सेम फॉर कार्बन ऑल्सो इफ देर इज एनी एटम विच इज एसपी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज नॉर्मली राइट बट इट्स लोन पेयर इज एक्चुअली इन द कॉन्जुगेशन 
then the hybridization of that atom will be sp2 because that lone pair now is not in the hybrid orbital due to the conjugation it is now in the pure p orbital clear टाइटल अरे वो ये बोल रहा है ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बन शायद पता नहीं आई डोंट नो जिंदिया सा इज इट क्लियर टेल मी ठीक है चलो बराबर नाउ एक चीज और बता देता हूं इजी वे टू कैलकुलेट द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बन और नाइट्रोजन रिमेंबर दिस इज द केस व्हेन देयर इज नो नो कंजुगेशन बिकॉज़ आई टोल्ड यू द एक्सेप्शन फॉर द कंजुगेशन बिकॉज़ समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस वन इज sp3 वन सीम्स टू बी sp3 बट इट इज एक्चुअली sp2 बिकॉज़ ऑफ द कंजुगेशन सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम एक्सक्लूडिंग द केस ऑफ कंजुगेशन नॉर्मली इफ आई आस्क दैट व्हाट इज द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ एनी ऑफ द सिस्टम देन रिमेंबर वन पाई बॉन्ड मींस हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज sp2 टू पाई बॉन्ड hybridization is sp and if there are three pi bonds sorry if there is uh, there cannot be three pi bonds actually if there is no pi bond hybridization is sp3 clear just have the simple trick now in this part here nitrogen was having a one pi bond so its hybridization is sp2 clear clear For example, if I just give you a big structure like this, something like this, and then you have this, and then you have this, something like uh, if I ask you about this hybridization of carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, and carbon number four, then you know that this carbon no pi bond either this side, this side, or anywhere. It is sp three. Is it sp three? Yes, it is sp three because here no conjugation to any with the pi. Now this one one pi bond sp two. Here this carbon two pi bonds sp three and same from this side also, na? And for this one, oh, so you can do it. So sp three. Now this carbon no pi bond, all sigma bonds sp three. Clear? So that is how you need to just remember this. Is it clear? भाई बता दोगे ना हाइब्रिडाइजेशन अगर तुम में से कोई पेपर में हाइब्रिडाइजेशन गलत करके आया ना मैं घर में घुस के मारूंगा बता रहा हूँ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन में गलती मत करके आना जब ऑर्गेनिक में माइनस आई माइनस इफेक्ट सॉरी आई इफेक्ट में एम इफेक्ट एरोमेटिसिज्म निकल रहा ना मालूम तो अरे कुछ नहीं होता सॉन्ग है हैव फेथ ऑन मी ना हैव फेथ ऑन मी रिलैक्स चलो भाई इतना क्लियर हो गया अब मैं मूव करता हूं फटाफट फटाफट अगले पे सो एरोमेटिसिटी की मैं बात कर रहा था एरोमेटिसिटी बिगिन सो एरोमेटिसिटी में मैंने तुम्हें तीन पॉइंट बता दिए क्लियर हो गए ना एक तो रिंग के अंदर के इलेक्ट्रॉन्स काउंट करने हैं एरोमेटिसिटी में और वो रिंग के अंदर के इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यानी कि रिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर अंडर कॉन्जुगेशन इफ फॉलोज फोर एन प्लस टू Then the ring is aromatic. देखो क्या प्यारी डेफिनेशन बनाई है यार भाई एरोमेटिसिटी की डेफिनेशन बुक्स में होनी चाहिए ओके दिस यू नो दिस दिस डेफिनेशन रिजर्व पब्लिसिटी मैन हाउ ब्यूटिफुली आई हैव डिस्क्राइब दिस एरोमेटिसिटी विदाउट एनी कंफ्यूजन दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर इन साइड द रिंग विच आर अंडर कॉन्जुगेशन इफ फॉलोज फोर एंड प्लस टू रूल देन द रिंग इज एरोमेटिक एंड इफ अनफॉलोज या अनफॉलोज नहीं कह सकते फॉलोज फोर एन फोर एन रूल बिकॉज इनमें से कोई फॉलो करेगा ही इफ फॉलोज फोर एन रूल कैन बी एंटी एरोमेटिक दिस इज न्यू थिंग एंड कैन बी नॉन एरोमेटिक रिमेंबर दिस एंटी एरोमेटिक इफ रिंग इज अप टू सिक्स कार्बन एटम्स नॉन एरोमेटिक इफ रिंग इज मोर देन और इक्वल टू सेवन कार्बन एटम्स और टोटल एटम्स ऑफ द रिंग हाइड्रो एटम भी तो हो सकता है ना देर कुड भी हाइड्रो एटम ऑल्सो बट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ द रिंग शुड बी इफ दीज आर इक्वल टू सिक्स और लेस देन सिक्स 
then if it follows 4n plus 4n electron rule it can be considered as aromatic otherwise it can be it will be considered as non aromatic why why because when the ring size is more than 7 or equal to 7 na instead of getting planar and being aromatic it becomes non planar and becomes non -aro anti aromatic see what happens let me tell you let me tell you see up to now what i told you that if there is a ring suppose if there is a ring there is a ring there are some electrons which are under conjugation means are that to you know na that entire ring should be planar that is why that is how the entire conjugation will takes place hai na so if the there are total electrons are following 4n plus 2 then to no issue that is aromatic but if it is 4n if, if if the electron count is following 4n electron that it will be considered as non aromatic or oh sorry anti aromatic only if the ring size is equal to or less than 6 atoms but if the ring size is large enough so that it could be flexibly you know orienting itself so it would prefer to have a non aromatic structure as compared to anti aromatic structure why because the stability order which is i am going to tell you very important thing stability order is aromatic is most stable then non aromatic and then anti aromatic so now suppose for example now tell me acha chodo leave this leave this leave this leave this this is to hai one example that is very much famous g mains and advance this baba cyclo octa tetra e have you heard about this species have you heard about this species yes so me priya you are right have you heard about this see this is how many electrons inside the ring there are eight pi electrons right which are conjugated so it is following 4n electron rule now i told you that this will be anti aromatic or non aromatic and what i told you that it can be non aromatic if the ring size is more than 7 or up to 7 since it is eight membered ring it prefers a non aromatic structure not a anti aromatic structure that is why you might have heard that it this exists as a tub shaped molecule you remember this clear that is why it happens clear and same for the seven membered ring and ion if i if i talk about this this is seven number na are he ladka see if i talk about this this is also seven member ring this is 8 pi right 8 pi means 4n four 4n system so is it aromatic uh, so is it anti aromatic no because it has a flexibility it can orient it in a non planar form and once it form once the ring is non planar how you are going to apply aromaticity or anti aromaticity because that is the property of a planar ring so as soon as this ring splits itself into a non planar form it becomes non aromatic and at least more stable than what it was going to be in anti aromatic clear baaki to tum kar loge now the last resonance do i need to tell you the resonance spare me why do you want to study resonance <laughs> should i should i tell you resonance or is it clear see if there is anybody who wants me to i can do it happily but the thing is i know that you guys know about resonance yeah you need to have uh, this conjugation stuff and nothing nothing else nothing nothing same suppose you are having pi pi system and you are just roaming around here there and everything nothing same ha uh, that is a good question i am i can tell you the stability of resonance structures 
Suppose there are two, three structures of a same compound resonating structures are given. Then uh, what is the order of resonance stability? Then I can tell you this for sure. I have to tell you this. So uh, first of all, the first point is uh, stability of resonance structure directly proportional to number of pi bonds. Higher the pi bonds, higher will be the stable structure. Second. If the pi bonds are equal in both the structures which are under comparison, you will look for number of atoms with complete octet. Now third one, if all the atoms are having same kind, same kind of octet or the number of atoms having complete octet are same, generally however this point is omitted. Not considered because it is almost same in the examples given. Now, third point is important, which is more electronegative atom possess negative charge and less electronegative atom possess positive charge. This is a factor of stability, stabilizes the structure, stabilizes the structure. Cross conjugation is, uh, see cross conjugation is, for that, so may I, I would, uh, I would teach you this, in, uh, you guys, this concept, now cross conjugation in a, some different class because of some reason. You cannot classify uh, double uh, cross conjugation always a bad one. Let me clarify this. I will clarify when the right spot of this cross conjugation will come. The fourth point and the last point is same charges at max distance and opposite charges at minimum distance stabilizes resonance structure and the one ultimately with the resonance structure which is more stabilized has high resonance energy right back wanting device for the back <laughs> but please explain previous slide why it is anti why it is uh, anti aromatic deepa uh, can you please re explain your doubt i didn't got your point what you want me to re explain चलो इतना क्लियर हुआ अब थोड़ा सा क्वेश्चन कर ले सपोज आई आस्क यू अबाउट सिंपल क्वेश्चन सपोज दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज वन स्ट्रक्चर इज दिस एंड इसका एक रेजोनेंस फॉर्म हो सकता है ये वाला एंड एक स्ट्रक्चर इसका हो सकता है ये वाला प्लस यहाँ पर आएगा और यहाँ पर ये बॉन्ड आएगा और यहाँ पर प्रोमाइन आएगा एंड एक स्ट्रक्चर इसका मैंने बना दिया नाउ सी मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पाई बॉन्ड जीत गया ये एट द फर्स्ट देन दिस पाई दिस पाई दिस पाई ऑल हैव टू पाई बॉन्ड्स सो नाउ यू हैव टू सी द सेकंड पॉइंट negative electro uh, negative charge on more electronegative so this one and this one stabilizes that thing but now the thing is there should be least minimum distance between positive and negative charge which is in this uh, particular structure b so a b will be more stable than c and d at the last because at d you have this positive charge on oxygen clear but now one thing i want to tell you there is a very in, uh, very good question uh, which is i guess i have this question here if uh, i remember yeah now this question can you solve this question hmm. not this one not this one sorry 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 
not this one uh, not this one also not this one also not this one not this one i don't know where that question is now yeah this one can you solve this question very important question just solve this and i'll finish the class so what she shall tell you but first solve this question take your time 5 minutes solve this question i'll explain a very beautiful concept here because that need to be clear the method of fermat evaluation Sir, may not be. Uh, Pushagra, I didn't got your point. What What are you saying? A. 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 Smart. okay aryan i will do that answer lagate jao c b aa rahe hai kuch bachcho ke d aa rahe hai kuch bhi aa raha hai main batata hu sorry a a acha ek baat batao for those who have answered c or d for a while just be quiet and for those who have marked the least table uh, sorry 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 for those who have marked uh, a and b stay quiet for a while and for those who have marked c and d tell me one thing that why do you think so that this is more uh, least stable than this one because here to oxygen is having more positive charge and i told you that if more electronegative is having negative charge it is more stable resonating structure uh, means negative charge If more electronegative structure has negative charge and less electronegative structure has, uh, atom has positive charge, then that structure is more stable. So why A and B are considered to be less stable than C and D? Can you tell me for those who are taking C and D? Number of pi bonds is same in every some uh, in every case except uh, uh, no actually uh, okay okay number of one uh, you can uh, use that. but uh, the thing is that uh, one more thing that is uh, which i want your uh, okay if you have solved this on the basis of number of bonds then even you can clarify between these two structures means upper two and below two that is okay but one thing is uh, that why do you think so that this this o positive is now somewhat stable is it stable is this oxygen stable this o positive is it, is it stable can you tell me on the basis of the point that we have did that more electronegative atom has uh, should have negative charge is this o positive stable on the basis of distance if there is a minimum distance between opposite charges or more distance between same charges you will say that the structure is stable not at all no chance now listen this that is why i have played this placed this question because i want to tell you a very important thing that is let it be here let's copy this friends do you know one thing i told you this two types of positive charge are there right now listen close this oxygen is stable why because here what had happened actually this lone pair has been given here in this case the positive developed okay the positive is developed but this oxygen has a complete octet since it is having the complete octet 
the effect of this positive charge is not effective so you cannot say that this is not stable because i told you that stability first depends on number of atoms with the complete octet and then the factor of electronegativity comes right here this oxygen in this way has complete octet if you see but if i ask you like this suppose there is a carbonyl group and i do something like this now you can say that this o positive is highly unstable because first of all it is uncomplete octet and then you have placed a positive charge on a less uh, more electronegative atom so see those who have answered it on the basis of pi bonds na those are always absolutely right but if somebody asks you that if this o positive is stable or not then you will say it is although it is unstable but is relatively more stable than this particular case of where carbon is having uh, negative and oxygen is having positive is it clear what i am saying i am just comparing uh, comparing it uh, with respect to the carbonyl structure right baki you are right so okay bye clear ho gaya batao ab tak jo padhaya clear hua now one homework for you all the homework is that in the next class all of you will revise inductive effect and resonance effect uh, sorry inductive and hyper conjugation effect and to, because today uh, i have was not about to clear because if you see in the you know the list i was also intending to clear clean uh, not clean to clear that topic of acidity right but the thing is that due to the time shortage we cannot do that uh, tomorrow class will be tomorrow beta mera ye hang ye le beta 4 point wala ye dekh le kiska answer beta answer iska iska answer iska answer wo hai b iska answer b hai bhai पहले तो तुमने बॉन्ड्स देख लिए बॉन्ड से तुम्हारे नीचे के दो हट गए ऊपर के दो बच गए और उसके बाद तुमने चार्ज सेपरेशन देख लिए चार्ज सेपरेशन अपोजिट चार्जेस है तो कम सेपरेशन मोर स्टेबिलिटी देता है वो हो गया पहला आंसर बी है बेटा कल टाइम का तो पता नहीं मॉक पे डिपेंड करता है मॉक के बाद होगी बेटा ये रही ना दीपा दिस इज द स्लाइड ना प्रीवियस दिस इज द स्लाइड ना हाँ यार रुद्रशीष जी आर बी सही है हाँ लीस्ट टेबल इज अरे हाँ उसने तो लीस्ट पूछा है ना हाँ तो लीस्ट पूछा है तो फिर यार ये वो हो जाएगा लीस्ट पूछा है तो ये हो जाएगा डी सी भाई इसका आंसर सी होगा लीस्ट पूछा उसने Why? अच्छा देखो लीस्ट पूछा है तो सी क्यों हुआ डी और सी में कंफ्यूजन था ना सी में इसलिए हुआ क्योंकि तुम्हें पता है यहाँ पर जो है ये पॉजिटिव चार्ज ये पॉजिटिव चार्ज यहाँ पर वैसे तो देखो यहाँ क्या हो रहा है ना कि ये पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव भले ही चार्ज तो क्रिएटेड है ना चार्ज सेपरेशन तो कम है लेकिन यहाँ क्या हो रहा है ना यहाँ ये लोन पेयर जो है ना ये इसको इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेट कर देगा मेजोमेरिक इफेक्ट से तो यहाँ तो तुम समझो पाइव बना ही हुआ है तुम्हारा एक ही चार्ज है नेगेटिव लेकिन यहाँ पर ये पॉजिटिव स्टेबलाइज नहीं हो रहा ना और नेगेटिव जो है और अगर हो भी रहा है तो रेजोनेंस होगा तो वो एक और चार्ज क्रिएट कर देगा तो मतलब समझ रहे हो ना अल्टीमेटली ये तुम्हारा डी सी से ज्यादा स्टेबल हो जाएगा ड्यू टू मेजोमेरिक इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑन द पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड ऑल्सो द नंबर ऑफ फाइव इज लेस इफ यू टेक दिस एज अजोरेंस सो इधर वेज यू कैन फाइंड भाई बताओ आज का क्लियर मुझे दो तीन बता दो बस चीजें आज का क्लियर हो गया और तुम सारे पढ़ के आओगे मैं बता रहा हूँ बेटा एक सुबह शीश कल सारे तुम क्या पढ़ के आओगे होमवर्क क्या है तुम्हारा हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन हाँ बेटा कल अब रोज क्लास होगी तीस तारीख तक क्योंकि उसके बाद मैं चार पांच दिन पढ़ाऊंगा नहीं मेरे को थोड़ा काम है हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन और इंडक्टिव तुम रिवाइज करके आओगे ठीक है बाकी मैं कल बारीकियां बता दूंगा कुछ एक्सेप्शन है वो बता दूंगा और फिर हम स्टार्ट करेंगे कल ही एसिडिटी और एसिडिटी में माँ कसम इतने क्वेश्चन कराऊंगा ना भाई पूछ के दिखाए एग्जामिनर उसके बाहर से क्वेश्चन एसिडिटी का और मैं तुम्हें आज की एक बात बता दे रहा हूं स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एन आयन 
directly proportional to acidity stability of cation directly proportional to basicity ये ध्यान रखिएगा तो आज हमने जो ये फैक्टर पढ़े हैं ना एनायन के टाइम की स्टेबिलिटी के कल यही एप्लीकेशन बन जाएगा इन डिटरमाइनिंग एसिडिटी थ्रू दीज प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी फैक्टर्स चलो ठीक है फिर मिलते हैं कल मिलते हैं ओके बाय बाय टाटा टेक केयर हाँ यार सुबह मैं ले तो लूंगा लेकिन टाइम डिसाइड करने में बड़ा वो हो जाएगा अच्छा हाँ वो मेरे से पूछ रहा था ना कौन रेजोडेंस एनर्जी क्या पूछ रहा था एक बार फिर से पूछ ले बेटा और जिसको जाना है वो चले जाओ डाउट सुबहशीष मैं वही तो बोल रहा हूँ तेरा तेरा डाउट ही तो बोल रहा हूँ तूने क्या पूछा गुस्सा हो गया सुबहशीष है देखो देखो मैं बता रहा हूँ रेजोनेंस एनर्जी क्या होती है ना जो रेजोनेंस एनर्जी क्या होती है देखो रेजोनेंस एनर्जी क्या होती है डिफरेंस होता है बिटवीन प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिकली ऑप्टेंड एनर्जी जिसको हम क्या बोलते हैं एनर्जी ऑफ रेजोनेंस हाइब्रिड एंड डिफरेंस होता है रेजोनेंस हाइब्रिड की एनर्जी का एंड द मोस्ट स्टेबल रेजोनेंस फॉर्म रेजोनेंस स्ट्रक्चर सो यू नो जैसे सपोज जैसे सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल बेंजीन है बेंजीन का एक रेजोनेंस स्ट्रक्चर ये होता है कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं सुबह एक रेजोनेंस स्ट्रक्चर ये होता है इसकी रेजोनेंस हाइब्रिड कैसे बनाई जाती है ऐसे बनाई जाती है अब सपोज इसकी एनर्जी ओवरऑल एनर्जी एक्स है और इनमें से जो मोस्ट स्टेबल वैसे तो इक्वेलेंट इक्वेलेंट रेजोनेंस इसको इक्वेलेंट रेजोनेंस बोलते हैं क्योंकि दोनों की स्टेबिलिटी बराबर है पर मान लो सपोज इसकी ज्यादा है मतलब ये सबसे स्टेबल है यानी कि इसकी एनर्जी सबसे कम होगी अगर मैंने कहा इफ इट इज मोस्ट स्टेबल इफ मोस्ट स्टेबल देन यू विल गेट देन यू विल से दैट लीस्ट एनर्जी तो तुम क्या बोलोगे कि डिफरेंस ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई इज योर रेजोनेंस एनर्जी राइट क्लियर हुआ और अगर रेजोनेंस एनर्जी हाई है तुम्हारी अगर तुम्हारी रेजोनेंस एनर्जी हाई है तो इसका मतलब हुआ हाई मॉलिकुलर स्टेबिलिटी देखो मैं बताता हूं इसका तुम्हें सुनो क्या होता है कि अगर तुम्हारी रेजोनेंस से एनर्जी का डिफरेंस बढ़ रहा है रेजोनेंस एनर्जी क्या है डिफरेंस है ना एक्चुअल एनर्जी और मोस्ट स्टेबल रेजोनेंस फॉर्म का तो अगर वो डिफरेंस बढ़ेगा तो मतलब रेजोनेंस फॉर्म की जो एनर्जी है वो बहुत कम है यानी कि बहुत स्टेबल है तो स्टेबिलिटी का जो डिफरेंस है स्टेबिलिटी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल हो जाती है रेजोनेंस एनर्जी के क्लियर हो गया सर द मेथड ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन यू टोल ट्रिक मे नॉट अप्लाई ऑन कार्बो के टाइम कार्बो के टाइम वाई इफ आई आस्क यू कुशाग्र आंसर मी दिस आंसर में दिस कुशाग विच कैटायन इज मोर स्टेबल स्टेबिलिटी ऑर्डर ए बी सी कैन यू टेल मी स्टेबिलिटी ऑर्डर कुशाग
if you will answer na then we will check that whether the concept of hybridization is applicable in cations or not it's a good question that you have asked let's see if you try to answer this are to isko wo kar lena are isko wo kar lena le ab bata isko ek le yahan par ab to ho gaya ye ch2 kar le aur bata ab theek hai बात तो वही पड़ गई ना हाइड्रोजन बैलेंस करने से क्या होता है बताओ ए दीपा सी ए बी सी मोस्टेबल मैं पेट दूंगा रात को साढ़े ग्यारह बजे पिटाई हो जाएगी बेटा ए भगवान सी ए बी क्यों लिख रहे हो तुम ये भगवान पॉजिटिव चार्ज है नेगेटिव चार्ज नहीं है सोचो सोचो प्राइमरी फैक्टर लगाओ प्राइमरी फैक्टर लगाओ कुशागर बेटा क्लियर हो गया कि प्राइमरी फैक्टर लग गया हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वाला फैक्टर लगा कि नहीं लगा बेटा हाइब्रिडाइजेशन यहाँ पे sp3 थ्री यहाँ पे sp यहाँ पे sp2 टू एंड आई टोल्ड यू That electronegativity is directly proportional to the anionic stability. Means inversely proportional to the cationic stability. Highest electronegativity, sp hybridized carbon. Least electro, uh, least uh, stable cation correspondingly. So the least one is C. Then so C or stability order is A, then B, uh, not A, B, then A, then C. Clear? हो गया? कुशाग्र बेटा बेटा डाउट क्लियर हो गया कुशाग्र अरे ग्यारह पचास हो ग्यारह हो ग्यारह साढ़े ग्यारह हो एक ही बात है कोई टेंशन की बात नहीं नो 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 दीपा सेकेंडरी फैक्टर प्लीज कंसीडर मत करो सेकेंडरी फैक्टर से आंसर कई बार गलत हो जाएगा आदत गंदी मत डालो बेटा पहले प्राइमरी फैक्टर सही कर लो प्राइमरी फैक्टर यही कहता है कि हाइब्रिडाइजेशन को चेक कर लो ओके चलो ठीक है बेटा दीपा अरे बिल्कुल टेंशन नहीं है चलो भाई चलता हूं वरना वो एक बच्चा था जिसने मेरे को बोला था सर साढ़े ग्यारह तक ही पढ़ाना हो मारेगा चप्पल फेंक के मुझे वहां से पिटाई के लिए ज्यादा मोटिवेट हो अरे दूसरे को कुछ ना बोलो भाई चैट बॉक्स में लड़ाई हो जाएगी मैं बोल सकता हूँ तुम नहीं बोल सकते आज टाइम तो पता नहीं चला अरे अब तो पता चलेगा भी नहीं यार ज्यादा लंबी क्लास हुई थोड़ी है डेढ़ घंटे की तो हुई है अभी तो दो घंटे की क्लासेस होंगी अब डेली भाई रेडी हो गया ना अगर अच्छे से पढ़नी है ऑर्गेनिक तो दम रखना भाई मैं तो पढ़ा दूंगा तुमने ही बहुत बोला है कि थ्योरी सर साथ में अच्छे से कराओ देखो थ्योरी चल रही है अभी तक तो एक क्वेश्चन वैसे वाले कराए नहीं है कराऊंगा जब एसिडिटी का मॉड्यूल खत्म हो जाएगा चलो ओके बाय बाय हाँ सौ में जा रहा हूँ सॉरी Freedom of speech तो is there, but this is the text ना You cannot text it. Freedom of text cannot be granted here. चलो ओके बाय बाय अरे नहीं यार जाना पड़ेगा यार मिले चलते हैं कल मिलते हैं ओके थैंक्स फॉर द फीडबैक अच्छे से करेंगे ऑर्गेनिक कल मिलते हैं प्लीज रिवाइज इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट एंड हाइपर कॉन्जुकेशन वेल वेरी वेल ओके ओके गुड नाइट बाय बाय क्या खाया मैंने तो कुछ नहीं खाया यार बस चलता रहता है थोड़ा बहुत सावधान रहे बिल्कुल एकदम अभी ऐसे डायलॉग में ऐसे नहीं बोलूंगा बीच में वो तो एकदम फील में निकलता है चलते हुए चलो ठीक है फिर मिलते हैं ना ठीक है चलो ओके बाय बाय टाटा टेक केयर सावधान रहे सतर्क रहे जय हिंद जय भारत मैं अनूप सिंह सुनी फिर मिलूंगा अगले एपिसोड के साथ कोई भी सपना साकार करने के लिए सबसे जरूरी है सही कोच का होना चुनिए साई एस्ट्रा और करे अपने आई का सपना साकार डाउनलोड दिया नाउ